Hey everybody, we're back on Soulful Seed Suggestions. Welcome to episode 29. So far that you're here and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now let's get started and jump right into today's video. As you can see. Oh my god. Uh, can you say the best of all worlds? Jeez. Uh, we got jungle. We have a bamboo forest. We have a mega taiga. I, I, over there, we have a rift forest. I mean, wow. I mean, here we got the tallest trees in the game right next to one another. Over here, we have a rift forest. Yeah, I've searched high and low sometimes for rift forest to get some dark oak saplings and you know, had to go quite a ways to find it. This seed has got me so excited. It's not even funny. What? a spawn let's go and check down here see if you know if you put the chest on which i i do i want to see what you know kind of loot we're gonna get here okay not very good we get some wood get a little pickaxe a little axe so i guess that helps us out a little bit we have a little surface coal here uh we have a little bit more surface coal there don't see any iron. That's unfortunate, but you know, can't have it all. <laughs> we have the trees for sure, for sure. All right, as we head out and leave the Mega Taiga, we have some more rift forest off this way. That is just truly, I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. This seed is, I, I'm just, wow. I have no words right now. Um, yeah, it, it's, then we have this swamp here. It, holy cow, now we have birch. Some more roof forest. Have, oh, so all we're looking for is acacia. And I'm sure the acacia will reveal itself in time. But, wow, just Holy cow, wow. Um, we have another swamp here with a witch hunt. It is pretty awesome here. We have some mountains over here. I, oh, oh, and then we head out just off the coast and we have an ocean monument. All right, would appear that we're heading back over land. We have a birch forest down here. We have another set of extremely awesome mountains. I like mountains that don't have lava. <laughs> but yeah, I like these mountains that have these natural ravines in it. North is really spectacular. All right, there's the first village that we've seen so far on the seed. Doesn't have a blacksmith, but it looks like a fairly decent village. All right, I think it's time to head back to that pillar and go east. And here we are heading east. Let's pick up the, the pace a little bit here. Yeah. There we have this nice coastline right along all of this mega tiger. Oh my, this is just extraordinary. I am, I have a little bit of ice out there. This, this is, uh, God, I, I, want, I so want to come here and build something. Uh, you, you may see this world again. You, you just might because, holy cow, this is just extraordinary. Well, we have another. Th actually, this is kind of a cool cool mountain area here. You could totally use this to build a castle. And this could be like, I mean, you have natural terrain that is a defense against an oncoming army. You'd want to shore that up a little bit and maybe build a wall over here. But yeah, that's uh, wow. I might just use this seed for something. You know, holy cow, 
this could totally be a dark oak uh, village as well. It's unfortunate Mojang hasn't uh, implemented that into the game yet because I just really would love to see that. Um, I think all the biomes deserve their own village and village type. And yeah, I mean, they, they kind of gave us a, a, a good update with that, but they could have went further in my opinion. But as we keep going, we, we have another plains area here with a, a birch forest in it. This plains kind of extends out. It's a, it's a little bit terrainy, but you know, that, that's awesome. We have a, a plains village over here, a rather large plains village with two blacksmiths. You heard me. There are two blacksmiths, so worth... Well, and there's zombies somewhere. But this is worthwhile stopping by. All right, we have a pickaxe. And some iron. And over at this one, we have some gold and some iron. So this one's not the best. Uh, we have another village over here, another plains village. And another blacksmith. So, wow, that's three blacksmiths in just a very short area. Let's see what uh, you have for purchase today, sir. Oh, okay, so now this is a good chest. An iron pickaxe, some iron, some gold, some iron boots, some food. Sir, you have an awesome store. Thank you very much. A bit further here, see what else we can find. These mountains are pretty spectacular, actually. I can't wait for the mountain update because I can't wait to see, you know, what that's going to look like once they update it and yeah it looks more like mountains because some of these mountains are already very cool looking so yeah really looking forward to the next update but i'm just getting started playing with the new one so <laughs> um they, they they can hold off a little bit for me Oh, it looks like we have a swamp in the middle of the ocean here. So it would be very, very good if we had a witch hut here with all this water because, you know, that would be the ideal situation. But it doesn't appear to be so. All right. I think it's time to, to head back and head south. All right, as we head south, we find ourselves a little cove here with this bamboo forest just completely wrapping around the cove. That is in itself really quite cool. We have another bamboo forest. Wow. Oh, I love this seed. All right, we have a jungle temple down here. That's fairly clear. And then we come out over to Junko, we, we run smack dab into icebergs. And it looks like we're finding ourselves a, a desert here. We do have a pillager outpost. And I told you we would run into these acacia eventually. So here we go. We found ourselves a savanna biome finally. And we have, well, um, we have a desert t town. That's pretty much completely in the savanna. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, there's like one little corner of it in the desert, so it all decided to be a desert. Oh, and we have a, a pyramid over there. It's somewhat buried, but you could easily unbury that if you wanted to and have a go at building something with the temple in the background. Oh, we have another temple over there that's pretty much completely above ground. It will only take a little bit of clearing to make that completely so. Wow, okay, now we have this uh, 
Savannah Village right here, right on the water. That is truly spectacular. Um, unfortunately, they must have had storms or something because crops are getting washed away. Uh, we have a shipwreck right out here as well. So that, that well, we have two shipwrecks. Um, apparently, this seaport is quite dangerous. All right, we have an ocean monument off to the coast of this side too so there you go if you wanted to do something with that village and you wanted to have an ocean monument nearby to turn into a farm it looks like we're going to hit a bunch of little islands here this is kind of a Oh, we have another ocean monument that is right next to one of the islands. So, yeah, you could set up base there, but you're definitely going to want to get rid of those Elder Guardians sooner than later. <laughs> and another one. Holy cow. Okay, ocean monument heaven. Again, you'd want to get rid of the Elder Guardians, but... Wow. All right. I was just about ready to say, let's turn around and head back to that pillar. But hey, we found two things of extreme importance here. We have a coral reef here that looks like it extends out for quite some ways. And we have a mesa over here. So yeah, if you come out to these coordinates, uh, you're you're out pretty far. I mean, it's almost five thousand or a little over five thousand blocks out, but yeah, worth the time coming out here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I I love this seed. I love this seed right here. I would set up like a western village right here. Oh yes. This is spectacular. I'd like to see like an open come on, where where is there a mine shaft nearby? <gasps> no way. Okay. We have a spawner, a spider spawn literally on the surface and yeah uh, be careful of the sand it'd be a good parkour challenge to start out with but uh, be careful of that um what else do we have in here okay not really a whole lot but i mean if you're gonna build like <laughs> well there's the dirt room if you're going to build like a, a Western style something over here. Oh my God. Yes. That could be like you have your Western town here. You have a little bit of a path to get over here, a little dirt road, whatever. And then you have your mining community. Holy cow. This is perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect. All right. Let's head back and head west, talking about Western villages. All right. As we head away from the pillar, we're coming over this dark oak forest here. Coming over a little bit of water, we have some more dark oak forest, or rift forest if you prefer. We have some birch dotted about. <laughs> we have a mushroom on the side of the mountain. That's it. <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, wow, this is also another really cool spot. You could do a castle here real easy with a very defensible waterfront there. Oh, yeah, that is quite cool. Okay, it looks like we're heading out. Well, I was going to say water, but we have this birch forest here. We have this swamp here. I'm more curious about the swamp than the water because I want to see. We have another witch hut over here, perhaps. 
No, it doesn't look like it. How far does this birch go out before we hit water again? Because it seems, well, maybe quite a ways. Yeah, it seems like that's just a big lake over there. I thought that we were definitely heading out over ocean, but it appears to just be a lake where we have another lake and a sunflower forest down here. So this is where you want to you want to head west to get your sunflowers. Well, and we have another mega taiga over here with another swamp nestled in right next to it. I have another porter remnant down there. So if you fixed up the portal remnants, you'd have a way of getting back and forth to some of these spectacular places. And we're going to be heading into the nether shortly to see what the that has to offer us. But wow, then we come out just a little bit further and you think we were heading north because, you know, um, we have a snowy tundra here and we have an igloo. Does it have a basement? It's a, yes, it does. It does. Oh, that's totally awesome. I have to go and check because sometimes these basements have spawners. Well, not today. I've seen several just recently where there's like a spawner right here too. It's like, that's absolutely spectacular. All right. So yeah, awesome find. Yeah, that's we're almost 3,000 blocks out again. Holy cow. But yeah, this tundra seems to, it's very cool the way it's like this taiga tundra with the taiga next to it that this is no well, actually a mega tiger next to it this is very realistic looking i mean yeah you'd have the only problem this should be like higher so you could have the lowlands and then the highland but hey still pretty awesome and we have a, a tundra village over here all right i think it's time to head back and Go down under and down we go and oh my god look at it right oh my god all right right underneath spawn i mean literally what is that like 10 blocks away from where i spawned in we have a skeleton spawner all right let's see what else we can find around here besides you know the crown jewel there we have another spawner over here Holy cow, we have another skelly spawner. So, there's the coordinates to that one. For some of this stuff. <laughs> Unless you have people like me that will show you, give you breadcrumbs. Here we have a zombie spawner. Right in the same neighborhood. So, yeah. Um, this is... I love the seed. I absolutely... I mean, I can't believe a uh, skeleton spawner right underneath... And here we have another zombie spawner. Wow. But yeah, the skeleton spawner right underneath spawn. And spawn being as epic as it is. Not to mention everything else that we found in this seed. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to bring up this seed to my upcoming server mates and find out if this is a contender. We have a couple of spider spawners in here. Not close enough to make a double. But I did see a couple of mine carts about two. We can come over here and maybe get some good loot. Okay, we have a regular spider spawner at these coordinates here. So yeah, but that a little bit that's 1200 blocks away from spawn so but yeah i think it's time to 
to head back to our, our spawn there and go interdimensional, see what the nether has in store for us. Okay, I came up out of the ground. I'm still in spectator mode. I, I had to show you this. It's like I came to look for a chest. I don't see a chest. And yeah, um, what is up with that? Is there anything? Oh, oh, wait, there is a chest in here. It's just buried. Oh, okay. Well, see, that's very interesting. So if you, if you come and find this one, dig around a little bit. There really is a chest. <laughs> All right. Well, we're in another. And yeah. Well, at least there isn't any lava pouring right down on top of us. However, there is some, some lava that, well, Apparently, it's another sauna. Um, yeah, this is another wasteland at its best. Whoa! No way! Um, wow! Okay, well, we have a bastion that is like right. Holy cow. Oh. Uh, bummer. Okay. Well, it, it's a bastion. And it's like right when you spawn it. However, it doesn't have a, a magma cube spawner in it. So, yeah. You probably have to look elsewhere. But, yeah. And then we have Soul Sand Valley right over here as well. So... Yeah, we got your soul sand going, your blue fire. Oh, we have a crimson forest here as well. So, yeah, a lot of stuff that's not too far away. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. This is a cave for salt delta. That's what that is. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit more confined, close quarters. So you ain't going to have a whole lot of gas to just trying to shoot your face off. Huh. Oh, yeah, here's the outside of it. So, yeah, this is extraordinary. Oh, wow, look how big this gets. All right, so again, this is not that terribly far away from your spawn. Oh, look at all this blackstone. Oh, it's, it's heaven. Blackstone is an incredible new block in the game. Um, yeah, I've been checking that out. And we have a warp forest. Can we get the achievement? Can we? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I got that in my survival world. Made me feel so good. So good. It's like um, I, I've done it a bunch of times doing these videos, but yeah, holy cow, we have another. <gasps> oh. My gosh. Okay, that is not as good a chest as I expected it to be. Ooh, did I make them angry even though I'm a creative? That's interesting. I mean, we have some gold in here. Some bone block, but yeah, not as exciting as I would have liked it to be. We have some more gold blocks about. Kind of hoping that... Uh, we would have found one with spawner in it. I found a bastion with a spawner in it, which I'm going to take over and remodel and 
<laughs> make safe because I'm telling you, oh, I didn't feel very safe in that one. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I got out of there with, uh, I, I don't even know how I got out of there to be real honest with you. I was having so much fun. I wasn't even paying attention to, you know, lava pools, <laughs> magma cubes trying to knock me off. Yeah, it, it was a kind of a blast. So, <laughs> if you want to see the shenanigans I get into, go well, check out my survival world. Well, and here I thought we found them. Right as I was going to call this video. Yeah, well, that's kind of a bummer. I'm pretty sure this, this is where it should be. <laughs> All right, but you know what? This is a pretty cool. Yeah, this is one of the stable ones. Where they have a whole lot of those guys in here. So, yeah, be careful. But, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a moment. <laughs> there you go. And remember, someone said be careful. <laughs> but y'all have fun enjoy the video i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet ring that bell so you get notified next time i upload a video and from soulful to you i hope all you dudes and dudes out there have an absolutely amazing day bye